I'm Scott Hansen. And I'm Taylor Olson. And we are doing a wrestling theory um, uh, technique video. In this movie, we'll be covering takedowns, counters to takedowns, top bottom, um, some things like cradles, tilts, and arm bars. For the first move, we're we are demonstrating head inside single leg. And um, for the setup, you want to be in a good wrestling stance. Uh, to get him to step, you got to circle around, move him around how you want. And when his leg steps, you're going to shoot in. Head inside his rib cage really hard, getting your, your hands around his ankle with pressure on his head forward. You're going to bring it up, spin out, and sew his legs up in the air like this. You can either sweep him backwards, cut him forwards, or over the top. I, I usually like to go over the top. And make sure you cover when you're done with that. So in a fluent motion, it will look like this. Now we're going to be covering a counter to the head inside single. Um, so we're going to be sprawling stuff in the head down and away, um, and then coming back out, pushing him away, and getting back into our stance. So we're going to start off in our wrestling stance. He's going to take his shot. So as soon as he shoots in, you're going to want to be sprawling, getting your uh, hip down to the mat, and hipping into him, um, getting your leg back and away. So you're going to want to hip in, and at the same time, you're going to want to be stuffing his head in between. Um, in the hole. Then the next thing is that you're going to want to uh, push away from him and then get back up into your stance. So the three key points are um, that as soon as he's shooting, you're going to want to sprawl, um, hipping into him. The next is that you're going to want to push the head down and away. And then the next is that you're going to want to come back up and do a good stance uh, ready to keep wrestling. So in full hold motion, that looks like this. All right, so now we're going to be uh, covering a high crotch or a head outside single. Um, so first, you're going to want to get into your wrestling stance. Next thing is you're going to want to pick the leg that you're going to shoot to. So you're going to want to make him move and step this leg forward. So you're going to want to motion him, push him pulling until he steps. Then the next thing, push him pull. Then the next thing is you're going to want to step between his legs and take your shot. Shoot him deep. Next thing is, is that you're going to want to make an X with your arms around the lower part of his leg and his calf, down towards his ankle. Um, we'll make sure your head's up here and his ribs in the side so you can help push across when you finish. And then the next thing is to cut from your single to your double and then finish um, below the knees. Uh, so then the three points are that you want to make the X with your arms, your head in the side, and then to cut across to your double. So this is what it looks like in full speed. So we'll be demonstrating the um, counter to the head outside single. So when he shoots in, he's going to have his head outside. Um, it's easy to cross face, but it isn't always the most effective. Some guys are strong and they can resist it. So we're going to be sprawling back, kicking our leg out of his lock, stuffing his head down, and spinning around blocking his head and arm with our right hand so he, he can't stop us. So in full motion, it goes like this. Okay, so from now, we'll be working simple breakdowns from the top bottom position. I'm on top end, so I'll have my right arm, my right hand around his belly button, my left arm around his elbow, and for the breakdown, we're going to be chopping his, his left elbow into his stomach. And the uh, key point here is to really get a good grip around the small part of his wrist. And we're going to have it in there tight, into his belly. So, uh, so now he only has three legs of his table, so he's easier to tip. We're going to block his left knee with my left knee. And uh, with the opposite leg, our right leg, we're going to be pushing him forward and breaking him down to the left. This opens up possibility for a half, maybe uh, a tilt. His legs are open wide so we can throw legs if we want to. So in full motion it will look like this. Now we'll be working uh, stand up from the top bottom position. Um, so we'll get down. 
So the first part of this move is that we're going to want to clear our arm out and at the same time we're going to want to bring our knee and our leg up. Um, so first we'll clear our arm and act like we're almost cross-facing ourselves to get his wrist off of our arm. At the same time there's a string that's connected from our elbow to our knee so when our elbow comes up our knee comes up. The second thing we're going to want to do with our right arm is catch his right arm. Um, that keeps him from trying to lock up um, and uh, it helps us out a lot. Next, we're going to want to put both our wrists onto his right wrist or onto his lock, um, whatever side you like, either one. Um, then the next part is, is we're going to want to pivot up into him. So we're going to want to squish the bug with our back foot, pivoting up into him. Um, and we should be pretty stable here. Uh, this will be where you're going to want to break the lock from. So you're going to stick the lock on one, one of your hips. Um, preferably your left hip, and then we're going to fight it, because that's the strongest point that will give you more leverage um, when it's at your hip. So you're going to want to fight it, fight it, fight it, and then clear, and then get back into your stance ready to then wrestle again. Um, so three key points are that you're going to want to clear your arm when you come up. Um, immediately you're going to want to try to catch his other arm, uh, put some pressure back into him when you pivot up, and then you're going to clear his arm um, when you get away, and then be ready to wrestle or, or go for a shot right after. Um, so in full speed, it looks like this. So we'll be working on, we demonstrating a, a cradle from a top bottom position. So the first step in getting to the cradle is to break him down, get him flat, with all your, having all your weight on him so it's more difficult for him to get up. Um, so then we'll be, if it doesn't work to the left, which is easier, getting his leg to his head. You can come around to the side, while he's still flat, you get your right hand around his neck, left hand on his leg, and with your head in his rib cage, pushing as hard as you can, it's not going to feel comfortable, so naturally he's going to want to curl up into you. So then, you want to lock your wrists on your arms as deep as you can so it's nice and tight. And once you get it, you're just going to take them back to the behind him. And then get the knee fall, even a pin. So, key points here are to get them down flat. Um, arm around the neck, not the head because it's just more, it's right there and compact. Um, left arm around the leg and just pressure your head as hard as you can into his rib cage. Alright, so now we're going to be working from uh, top bottom position again um, with the bottom guy down on the mat. Um, and we're going to be working a half Nelson. So we're going to have the bottom guy lay flat on the mat. Uh, so the first important thing is that you want to cover his hips. Um, so he doesn't come back up to his base, and then um, so then it doesn't turn him back into top bottom position. So you're going to want to cover in between his leg. You're going to want to step one of yours, um, and then you're going to want to be putting pressure over uh, his shoulder and the top of his back. The next thing is you're going to want to reach under his armpit and grab um, in between his on his hand right here, um, right at the base of his fingers, and then on his other wrist. On his other hand, arm, you're going to want to grab his wrist um, so he doesn't have anything to come back up to his base with. Um, so the next thing is, is you're going to want to put pressure on him, um, staying off your knees, driving on your toes. Um, and the next thing is you're going to want to come off to the side, driving into him, and cover the top of his, you're going to throw the half in, um, not putting your hand at the bottom of his neck, but at the top of his head with a wide hand. Um, then you're going to come out to his elbow and then start keeping a hold of this wrist. You're going to start wanting to run the, uh, his elbow over his head and then eventually put him into the hand. Um, so grab the wrist, grab the hand, um, go out to his elbow, cover the back of his arm, come around, then start to sink the half in, go in deep. Um, don't grab the chin, but cup around, or 
cup around the chin or put, make a fist right next to his chin, kind of on his throat, inside his neck. Um, and then as you're sinking back down, you're going to want to go chest to chest and slowly sink him down until he's pinned. And then once he's in this position, you're going to want to arch your back backwards and then put a foot in front of his head to keep him from bridging. So that's the half nelson. Now we'll be working um, an escape from leg rides. Um, and the escape that we'll be doing is called a mule kick. Um, it's pretty basic. So we'll get down. Um, we'll be in referee's position. And this will be most... Guys throw in legs from all different positions. Um, but a lot of times if you have an open hole right here and they can throw the leg in, then they will. Um, so they throw the leg in. And the first thing that you're going to want to do, um, which he already got past this blocking, um, you want to use your elbows to block. So that's kind of your first defense. But once he actually gets the leg in, uh, that's when the mule kick comes in. So pretty much for that is all you do is you just kick straight back and then get your leg back up tight um, and close into your chest and underneath. Um, so it's nothing hard. Uh, one of the some of the key points would be uh, first you want to block him out by using your elbows, um, protecting you from getting the legs thrown in on you. Uh, next is as soon as you feel him throw the legs in, you want to kick back straight as hard as you can, um, and then bring your leg back up and block again. Um, so yeah, here's what it looks like another time, and then we'll do it full speed. So as soon as he throws the legs in, I'm kicking back and then bringing my legs straight back up. Now we'll be demonstrating a hip tilt or roll through tilt from the top bottom position. So he'll be down. The object is to get his arm in deep, so we'll just do a breakdown. Bring him back up with his arm into his, his stomach. Our left hand around the outside of his elbow, and uh, we can. The way I like to do it is uh, the roll through tilt. So we'll get our elbow deep into his into his legs, and uh, we'll tuck our heads down too. So get down, and then we're just gonna roll as hard as we can to our left, and hold when we get there. When we get to this position, you want to have your right knee in their butt to, uh, to stabilize them, and with the left leg, elevate their their leg if possible. And you just want to hold the your your arms in his arm into his belly as, as hard as possible to make it uncomfortable for him. So it's not a really pinning move, but it'll get you back points pretty easily. So it'll look like this.